Hey YouTube, Florida Stacker back here with you with another stacking video. And in today's video, I want to talk why I think now might be a good time to switch to buying generic rounds and silver bars over American Silver Eagles and Canadian Maple Leafs. And I say that because there has been a shift in the buyer and seller market uh, for physical here in North America. And uh, let me break that down for you. So if you recall, when silver, namely, also gold, but gold quickly recovered, but let's talk silver here today. Uh, when silver took its uh, a big drop, you know, dropping from the $17 range all the way down into, you know, high 11s, low 12s, um, demand soared, right? Instantaneously demand soared. And the those that held the bullion, the dealers, that is, they raised premiums to um, match that demand. Now, they quickly sold out and they began picking up the phone and calling their suppliers uh, along with all the other dealers across uh, the world. And we ran into a problem where demand exceeded supply, driving premiums up and pretty much eliminating many options. Now, today, here we are at the uh, beginning of May. It's May 1st. Things have changed. There is a lot more inventory in or coming in to your bullion dealer or local coin shop than there was about a month ago. Um, this increase in inventory you would expect would result in some dropping of the premiums. That hasn't happened yet. And a lot of this stuff is still selling out pretty quickly when it comes in. With the U.S. Mint being back open as well as the Royal Canadian Mint, there are a lot of 2020 products out there that are starting to show up. Now, the second factor to talk about is the fact that the general market environment has remained mostly unchanged. While the stock market has seen about a 50% recovery from its uh, you know, highs in early March, and gold is now trading above where it was at before the sell-off, uh, silver has definitely come back pretty far, uh, marching from the low 12s now into the low 15s. Um, the general market environment, however, uh, dictates that demand is still high because there's a lot of uncertainty and fear out there. But the good news is, is that the increase in supply, along with the market remaining relatively unchanged, has allowed us to kind of comparison shop, that is, to find value. And what I went ahead and did today is I logged on to JM Bullion's website, and I was looking around at some future purchases. And one of the things I've decided to consider is that uh, I feel pretty good with where I'm at with American Silver Eagles, for instance, as well as uh, some gold. Now, there will be a few more American Silver Eagles unboxed during the month of May, as well as uh, you know more gold. Uh, however, I think I'm going to shift my focus to the generic rounds and bars in order to increase my weight during this crazy time. So I ran some numbers here for you, and I got a piece of paper off here to the side. Let me just flash it for you real quick. It's got a bunch of different numbers on it, and uh, these are from JM Bullion. And this is at a spot price of $15.11. Now, looking at the 2020 American Silver Eagle, uh, in order to buy one of these using an ACH transaction from JM Bullion, you're going to spend $25.09. Uh, JM Bullion will buy this coin back. Not this coin. This is a 2014. But it'll buy a 2020 American Silver Eagle back for $19.11. Now, if you buy 20 of them, you can get them for $24.79, but for comparison reasons, let's stick with the one ounce coin and the 10 ounce bar. Uh, so $25.09. Now, to get the best price from JM Bullion, you'll need to buy 1,500 or more of these, uh, and then you can get them at $24.10. Um, but once more, that's, that's not most of us, right? I mean, there are folks watching this video right now that do go out and buy entire monster boxes. Um, I'm not one of them. So looking at $25.09 and a sell price of $19.11, that generates a spread of $5.98, or a 23.83% spread. Um, to put that into very basic terms, the silver coin itself would need to appreciate in value by 23.83% in order to break even. This is why you see a lot of folks in the comment section that are saying, silver's stupid, why stack silver, you're basically losing money. Maybe, but I'm in this for the long game, and I uh, I see silver going a lot higher than 15, and I don't see it going a whole lot lower, so I'm okay with this. I know a lot of people out there are okay with this too, or you wouldn't be watching this video, but we still need to understand what's uh, the best silver that we could be buying and stacking. Uh, the American Silver Eagle is the king of silver coins, but is it the best? 
So then we move to the 2020 Canadian Maple Leaf. Now you can pick up a Canadian Maple Leaf from JM Bullion uh, for $22.50 as of the time I wrote this down. The best price for a Canadian Maple Leaf comes when you buy 500 or more and that's at $21.59. So it's a little bit easier to get a better deal on the Maples. You only need to buy one monster box, not three to get that better price. Okay. So with a buy price of $22.50 and a sell price of $17.11, right? Okay, so that's $2 different. It was $19.11 to buy the American Silver Eagle back, but only $17.11 to buy the Canadian Maple Leaf. So that's a $2 difference. So now let's look at the spread. The spread on the American Eagle was $5.98 from the buy to sell price. On the Canadian Maple Leaf, however, uh, the spread is $5.39. However, the difference between, uh, you know, what you're going to get for the coin and what you're going to pay for it is actually a little higher, and it's 23.95%. Now, my LCS does do a little bit better on these, as well as the Silver American Eagles, and we'll talk about that at the end. So now we'll move on to the one-ounce Silvertown Silver Round. I'm using that as the uh, example here. And at a spot price of $15.11, believe it or not, these are going for $19. Sounds outrageous, but it's actually the best deal out there right now. JM Bullion is actually willing to buy that coin back from you for $15.31, which is 20 cents above spot for reference. Now, if you buy 20 of the one ounce Silvertown Silver Rounds, you can get them for $18.55. And if you want to swing a lot of money, then you can buy a monster box for $18.10 per coin. As mentioned, we're going to stick with the, uh, the purchasing one here for the comparison. Buying one at 19 and selling it back at $15.31 generates a spread of $3.69, which is 19.42%. Now, my LCS will actually buy these coins back from me right now, rounds, I should say, buy these rounds, these are generic rounds, for $17. That generates a $2 spread between what JM Bullion is willing to sell it to me for and what my LCS will buy it back. Um, even with my LCS out of the picture, you're still going to get the best value one ounce of silver buying and selling by going with generic in, uh, you know, this environment that we're in right now. I say that also because silver, when silver is in such high demand, is silver. And what I mean by that is my local coin shop is not going to refuse a one ounce generic round. He is not going to refuse a one ounce Royal Canadian Mint Maple Leaf. He is also not going to refuse an American silver eagle however what he's willing to sell them to me for and buy them from me that is you know what he's going to give me if i'm willing to sell uh definitely fluctuates so now uh, one more comparison real quick i wanted to look at the 10 ounce silvertown american flag bar there are um the cheaper option the standard random design 10 ounce silvertown bars however jam bullion doesn't have a uh, advertised buyback price for that so I'm using the uh, American flag bar, which I know you're all familiar with. And right now you can get one for $187.90. That would be $18.79 per ounce. JM Bullion is willing to buy it back from you for $153. That generates a much smaller spread. So it's really not that bad. Uh, my local coin shop, I'm not quite sure what he would pay either of them actually for a 10 ounce uh, uh, generic silver bar. So I don't have that to throw into the figures. But all in all, I think it's pretty clear here that now that we have um, more inventory at our dealers, there are also more people coming in and selling. Um, I've noticed that by the text messages and phone calls I've gotten from my uh, local coin shops, letting me know they've um, you know gotten inventory in. But you know, also the fact that the market has relatively remained unchanged. We still really don't know what's going to happen here, do we? I mean, things seem to be getting better. You're noticing that some states like Georgia and Tennessee and other states are going to open up while the pandemic itself uh, is global. Uh, there are definitely those hot pockets like New York City, for instance, where, you know, things will probably stay closed down for quite some time. But I kind of support the notion of, of getting, uh, you know, the economy up and rolling, especially in areas of the country where um, the virus has not been uh, too impactful. Obviously, we need to keep monitoring and testing and uh, reevaluating from there. But I think that with all this going on, things still remain very favorable for gold and silver for a long time. So if you're going to be accumulating, which I am, 
I recommend that you do look for the best value. Now, having said all of that, I'm going to be a little bit of a hypocrite here and tell you that uh, over the last two weeks, I have placed three or four orders for bullion and I haven't bought anything generic. And the reason behind that was I hadn't quite got my thinking on the 2020 coins were, you know, the most readily available um, and I wanted to accumulate. And also I had, you know, like tubes, right? I, I've got these tubes. So we'll go ahead and transition to that and show you the completion of yet another tube. So last week after I shot my video um, where I received, uh, I believe it was five, uh, 2020 American Silver Eagles, I went ahead and purchased uh, six Silver American Eagles off of eBay uh, from a private seller. And these are in the uh, 2014 uh, variety. And I went with the 2014s because uh, sitting here in front of you today, guys, I've got 14 of them. You can count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. These are all 2014. So let me go ahead and get this open and we'll show you some new additions. So continuing on with my uh, statement of uh, hypocrisy, I've also ordered some, uh, some gold. And now I'm not really um, looking at generic gold at this time, more focused on generic silver. But I did order uh, some more American gold. I do have some Canadian maple leaves coming. And I also have a silver bar. So none of those things that you'll be seeing in my upcoming um, uh, unboxings are going to be generic. But my focus is definitely switching uh, in that direction. So something a lot of the other channels do is they like to, you know, they like to open up the gold and silver in front of the camera. And I totally get that, right? All right. Let me just put it to you this way. I'm showing you pretty much everything I got, okay? So don't worry about that crap with me. Secondly, sometimes you get stuff in the mail like I just got, and you have to stop the camera because this dude closed this silver up tighter than Fort Knox, all right? So five minutes later, I got it all out. So here we go. Uh, 2014 silver American Eagle. One, two, three, four, five, and six so these six coins here will help me finish up um, a tube i've got 10 more american silver eagles that i've placed orders for so those will be showing up and we can do an unboxing of those uh, next week as well as some gold um, but i think what you're going to start to see here in about two to three weeks time is some generic silver rounds coming in and uh you know, I just don't want to get stuck. I really don't want to get stuck. If premiums, uh, the buyback premium on American Silver Eagles goes back to, you know, a dollar over spot and my Maple Leafs go to 50 cents over spot for the, you know, non-milky ones. Um, and generic falls back down to maybe 50 cents below spot or even at spot. It's just a lot better insurance for me to buy silver and accumulate weight in the generic variety right now while uh, demand is so high and uh, that way I can kind of keep my dollar cost down uh, and still, you know, stack silver. I can stack more weight in silver uh, by spending less fiat. I'm not going to be selling any of my uh, American Silver Eagles, Maple Leafs, uh, Krakens, any of the other coins that you see in front of you today. This is strictly um, from an accumulation standpoint. While I did uh, have a conversation with one of the coin shops lately where he recommended that if you're sitting on a bunch of Silver American Eagles, now might be a good time to get rid of some. I mean, he's buying them for 21 each. So, you know, you could you could take him, say, um, you know, two tubes of um, American Silver Eagles and turn that into two tubes of generic rounds, brand new rounds, perfect brand new rounds, uh, and get like 22 ounces out of the deal. So you're trading 20 for 22. Um, I'm not going to do that, guys. I'm just strictly going to accumulate, but I did want to bring that to your attention. So that's going to go ahead and conclude the video today. Uh, the market remains relatively the same. Inventory is increasing. Now we can look for the deals. We can start being, uh, you know, value buyers. Uh, as mentioned, a lot of the things you'll see coming are orders that I already placed, and I'm just trying to kind of complete some tubes uh, and finish some stacking goals that I had set before this craziness uh, took place. Don't want to get too off track. But as far as the focus is concerned, it's pretty obvious to me right now that there's strong appeal stacking generic rounds and bars. Go ahead and give me your uh, thoughts on this in the comment section below. A uh, little less pep in my video today, guys, for those that have made it to the end. I'm, I'm not really feeling super hot. No, I don't think it's COVID. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm not coming down with flu-like symptoms. Just generally not feeling super hot. So, uh, But I did want to get a video out to you, and I hope that you all are having a wonderful Friday. Uh, keep stacking, everyone. Keep positive. 
We're getting through this, and I'll talk to you soon.